Okay, we're going to start up Uniden Sentinel software for my Uniden SDS100 scanner that's down here. And we're going to take a look at Edit Profile. Now these are all the profiles you can send to your scanner to set it up the way you want it. You can do this in the scanner itself or you can do it in Sentinel which is easier. Go to the first one here. Pretty well explains itself. Options, volume set, squelch. Um, I've got it set, do not disturb, priority scan. It will wait 10 seconds after someone speaks to move on. And you just set these the way you want it. And you go through all these. The only thing I changed in this, <coughs> excuse me, was, um, 108 to 1.36 a.m. That's the aircraft band. It was set at something else. It should be set at 25. So I changed that. Display options. Now the display, I've got it set up here. You might say dimmer 100% is going to dim this 100% but no it is at 100% if you want to dim it you go down to 10 or whatever now the way I've got this set up is when someone starts talking the screen will come on okay and it will only come on for five seconds and then it goes blank all right and you can set it up any way you want it and that's open squelch that's why it does that <coughs> key back like flash I'll show you what that's all about now for this to work okay this will not work unless you activate it and the way you activate it is you go down to your scanner here once you sent this information to your scanner and you see the on and off button here you press it once okay now the screen has gone off you'll see this light flash every four or five seconds okay that's telling you that it's set. So when someone starts talking, the screen will come on for five seconds and then it will shut off. You can set it up any way you want, but it will not work unless you activate it with the on and off switch. I've got it flashing here. You can shut the flasher off if you want, but it's nice because after a while I forget I even have the scanner on sometimes. And I can look over and see it flash and say, oh, the scanner is on. So that's how that works, okay? I'll shut it off. I'll put this back. Now, you can put an opening message. I put my name, address, telephone number, just in case I lose my scanner. But I don't really take it out that much. Discovery mode, I don't use this, uh, the SDS-100, it's broken, the conventional is broken, it doesn't work properly. The trunk, I really don't know, I haven't bothered checking it out, it doesn't work properly. Tone outs, um, you can set your tone outs, um, I don't use it, so I just leave it as it is. Same with the weather, you can put your... Uh, FIPS 
or your SAM codes in. Set it up the way you want it. Close call. I want close call to check everything here. So I leave it on. All the bands. Alright. And you set up the tone and everything. Pretty straightforward. Custom searches, same thing. Set them up here. You can do it on the scanner. And um, number one is 225 to 380 military band aircraft. And it'll scan between 225 and 380. You can make any changes you want. Set your step. You don't really have to. You can set it to auto. Delay, I got it two seconds. The one here, five seconds. Now, a very important thing you can do here is let's say you are searching the 108 to 136 AM band for aircraft. And you got it set for two seconds, so when somebody starts talking, it'll talk and then it'll wait two seconds and then it'll move on and start searching again. A lot of times when you're doing searches you'll come across frequencies that have noise on them or whatever and your your scanner just locks on it. And if you set up a search and leave your house and it finds one of those birdies or whatever um, you're going to come back and you're going to have nothing. So you go into delay and you can set the delay for 30 seconds up to no seconds. But this minus 5 and minus 10 are really good because if it locks onto one of those birdies or noisy frequencies and just sits there, after 5 seconds it will move off that frequency or 10 seconds and start scanning again. Now it won't lock out the frequency so when it comes around again and the noise is on there it's going to stop again for five or ten seconds but it'll keep the scanner scanning it's a really good tool okay broadcast, broadcast screen you can set that up the way you want search close call repeater fine you can set these keys up if you want whatever way you want. Another great thing here is avoid frequencies. These are troublemakers for me on my scanner. And most of these, I think, yeah, all of them are frequencies that my close call picks up all the time. Uh, this one is Border Patrol, I think. But it always locks on these, and a lot of these are just um, encrypted. So I put them in here, this list. Put a frequency in there and add. You can remove them if you want. And it will not stop on these in your scanner, and it will not lock on them with close call. Really good. Location. Put your zip code or your postal code in. Here's my latitude longitude. And I've got it set for 50 miles, okay? And this is for the database. Okay, the full database that you download every every uh, week. And when you do the database is set at 50 miles. You, as I said, you can set it any way you want. Service types, very important. If these service types are not turned on, it doesn't matter if you have them in your favorites list or whatever. It'll pass right over them. It won't scan them. And I turn everything on just to be safe. These are my um, my favorite lists. You can turn them off or on. And if you hold down the CTRL button, 
you can pick individual ones okay or you can hit the shift button pick a whole pile at the same time and turn them on or turn them off it's up to you but do this before you send it and now when you're ready to send it go ahead and send it if you look up here it says update it save it make sure you save it before you send it and then all you have to do is uh, set up your scanner to receive the information and send it your scanner set up every time you send the profile it sends all the stuff that you set up so you don't have to do it again and you can make changes to this anytime you want no problem so I hope that's helped you um, I've touched on a few things here pretty straightforward go in there and mess around and uh, get your scanner set up the way you want as I said you can do this in the scanner too um, it's up to you I know a lot of people don't like Sentinel software I was the same way when I first started using it, it drove me crazy but uh, just be a little bit patient with it it does work um, I hope this helps you take care